Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we've got a nice and easy video, simple video. It's just going to be covering how to remove your central heating pump. Let's say it's seized up, it's failed, it's burnt out, whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you a nice easy trick to remove it without having to call people like me and paying silly prices. I'm doing myself out of work by doing these videos, but it helps. As long as it helps you guys, I'm going to be happy. So some people are going to watch this video and be like, oh, no, it's proven practice. If you can't get to a pump, let's assume your pump is in a nice tight cupboard. You can't get your Stilsons in there, you can't, you can't get your grips in there, you can't get your spanner in there to undo it. This is going to be a nice little trick to, to free up that seized nut on that pump because it can get seized through the heat. So it becomes very difficult to take it off. So hopefully this video is going to help you, um, help you do it at home, help you guys out there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video, guys. If it's like this, a Grunfoss one, it's very, very easy. What you need to do first, though, is take all your precautions. Make sure your isolation switched off, your fuse is out, there's no power to it. Double check that, which I have done, so we're okay. So this is going to occur if you've got dirt in your system or if the motor's burnt out, that sort of thing. Either way, I've done a video on how to check so if your pump's working fine. So now it's time for the removal and replacement. What I'm going to do is just show you the removal. Um, the replacement is exactly the same, just in reverse. Very, very easy, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to try and get our grips on here and undo them, which, no, that's not working. And on this side, these are right-hand threads, guys, so they're very easy to, to do. A little bit of turning on that one, nothing major. So if we don't, if the grips don't work, we use Stilsons. Always get the grips because they're cheaper. It's that easy. A spanner won't fit unless it's an extra large, or large spanner. What you can do, alternatively, again, <laughs> double checking these are off. Obviously, usual, right tighty, lefty loosey. Um, is either hit them with a hammer to loosen up the thread, or what you can do is get a normal little chisel. This is an ideal because it's a wood chisel, but it's the only thing I've got to hand. And what we're going to do is slowly, you know, this is proven practice, it's, it's the good old days, good old fashioned methods, and you're just going to put, position it onto the nut and just give it a tap. So that's that one worked, that's done a good job. So it is good practice to get the rag under there like that just to catch any water really. And then again, on the other side, we're just gonna give it a nice little light tap, it's right near the camera, so I do apologize. Right on the brim of the nut. Okay. And there we go, that's perfect. Perfect. Now, once they're loose, you can move the, uh, the pump to one side. Now, bearing in mind, you've already switched the electrics off, you've isolated it. I have already checked this, but I'll just put the casing back on for the purpose of the video. I'm going to unscrew the centre nut here, take the, the screw out like that, pop the cap off. Now, on newer pumps, you will have levers which you just hold down and pull the wire out. Very basic. So if it's quite tight like this, you can always get some, some snout nose pliers in there. Again, some are screws. Some aren't, some are just push levers. It'll just have a white tail on it which you just push down and pull the wire out, very, very easy. I prefer these screws, most plumbers do, it, but modern times, money saving and all that sort of malarkey, you know. And again, this is the neutral, this is always, always seems to be the most awkward. I guess it's because it's in the middle. There we go, and that just pops out. And what you will need to do is replace this with the new one. Or if it's the same sort of pump, you might be able to reuse it, but I don't like to do that. It's bad practice. So if you can, replace this uh, rubber housing and because the, the rubber grommet can wear, you see. So what we're going to do now is undo this here. And on the other side, like so. 
We've got no water, we're quite lucky. And what you'll find in here, as you can see the view's an extension on there, so we may have to keep that. The rubber washers, like so, take them off. Don't reuse them, of course, just take them off. As you can see, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not dirty, but it's not great. It's obviously just burnt out. And on here, clean these up, okay, before you put the new washers in there. And it is always good, it helps, because if you put the washer in there, it will just fall out, okay, like this, like that. It will just, just fall out, okay, it's not ideal. What you can do is use some paste, which I just use JetBlue, but any sort of plumber's paste will be fine. Again, I use JetBlue and just run it around the washer like so just a little bit it doesn't need to be a lot at all but it just it just helps with that seal and it helps hold it in place like that so it's not going to fall off on you it's not going to move about um, it's going to be a nice easy job anything to make the life easier guys that's the way to do it and all we're going to do is do exactly the same in reverse you're going to put your new pump in there what i tend to do is wire it up before I put it in place. I always find that easier, okay? So wire it up, live neutral earth, usual sort of scenario. Obviously don't turn the power back on. Put it all in place, tighten it all up, check that it's watertight, clean up any, any water you may have, especially around the electric box or the housing, which you may find that you do, and uh, turn the power back on and test. And it's that easy, guys, that easy. So a nice DIY pump swap for you. So there we are guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope it helps you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it does help and hit that little bell and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.